I am Lenadil, the spirit of the wood, known to the mortal races as the Tortured. Let me tell you how I got that name. I was born 200 years ago in a small rural village just outside the forest. Every morning I would help my father chop wood for the fire, sow the wheat, and I would retire at night to a family feast of mead and cheese. Yet I was not happy. I didn't enjoy doing the masculine tasks. I knew even as a child, I did not belong in a boy's body. It was only just as a young adult that I had the courage to act and dress as a woman. But I did it at night, in secret. It went well for the first few weeks, until my father caught me one morning. He berated me, insulted me. I cried, but I did not give up. I kept going out at night nearby the forest as a woman. I was a woman, but born in the wrong body, and I wanted to stay that way. My father did not see my view. The next afternoon, as I was in the forest, my father came to me and beat me. He called me a traitor of the village and kicked and attacked me until I was bruised and bloody. The attack lasted several hours until it grew dark. My father then left for the village, leaving me to die alone in a hostile darkened forest, filled with bears, wolves and disease carrying insects. I dragged my body, my legs refusing to work in what seemed to be hours. I made it to a thick clearing, the tall trees of the forest looming over me. I lay there in the forest for several days and nights, starving and crying, praying I would never be found by my father. On the third night, I saw a deer trying to drink from a small puddle. I thought about the village, about my father, but instead of turning to hate, I forgave him. Instead of letting the anger consume me, I thought about the forest. I had heard stories of ghosts of vengeful women created by unresolved anger. I reached into my pocket for my water pouch, pouring what little left into the puddle. The deer drank it and then left to find its herd. I looked at the moon and the stars and then lay my head down. The trees seemed to form a circle around me. My breath slowed to gasps. I smiled. I then died later that night. I woke several days later, standing in the middle of the forest. My wounds were healed and I now wore robes of bright blue. I was in my cherished form, a woman, hair long and teeth white. Years later, men and the elves started calling me the beauty of the woods. I've never felt happier, I was now free to be me. This was my true form. It was the nature spirit who saved me that night. I did indeed die, but because I was kind and forgiving, I was reborn into the spirit of the wood, the immortal patron of the forest. It's been 200 years since my rebirth. I now proudly fulfill my role, taking care of pilgrims, lost children and weary travellers. A small town of elves, dwarves and men has sprung up into the forest. The people here are kind and respectful. To them, I am the cloaked young lady who takes care of the forest and the people who visit it. Stories of my beginnings have become legend and I became a myth 
a symbol of the forest. I became the spirit of the wood. I became the tortured 